Video 3. This video describes the task number 3 of this introduction to multicast VPNs. Now that you have unicast connectivity to the source, you can start a multicast flow from the customer source CS. The destination IP address of this flow is the customer group CG. It's time to enable multicast protocols. The main one is Protocol Independent Multicast, or PIM. In Junos, you need to enable PIM at the interface connecting CE1 to the customer source. Otherwise, CE1 won't be able to process the incoming multicast flow. You also need to enable PIM at all the interfaces connecting CEs and PEs together. For example, CE1 and PE1 exchange PIM hello packets and they become neighbors in this way. Multicast receivers typically send IGMP reports to signal group membership. In this scenario, you are configuring the membership statically at the CEs. The idea is to simulate a receiver connected to the downstream interfaces of CE3 and CE4. Let's review a bit of the multicast theory. There are two flavors of multicast. In any source multicast, or ASM mode, the receiver only signals group membership, and it's up to the network to find out what sources are actively sending traffic to that group. On the other hand, in source-specific multicast, or SSM mode, the receivers signal their interest to receive traffic destined to a specific group and originated at a specific source. This simplifies the job of the network, so it's the model chosen for this introduction. Note that receivers working in SSM mode use IGMP version 3. Once CE3 and CE4 realize there are downstream receivers, they start signaling the multicast distribution tree. So they send a PIM join packet out of their upstream interface. What's the upstream interface? the one pointing to the source, as dictated by unicast routing. Once the PIM joins reach PE3 and PE4, the multicast signaling stops there, for the moment. Let's see how the PIM packets look. PIM hellos and join prune packets are sent to the link local multicast address 224.0.0.13. PIM hellos are not very interesting by themselves. Actually, PIM neighbor relationships are stateless. The hello packets don't even contain a neighbor list. PIM joins are more interesting, though. A PIM join is sent to the VLAN with no particular destination, just 224.0.0.13, all the PIM routers. In this example, you only have CE3 and PE3, but there could be more neighbors in the VLAN. That's why in broadcast media, it's important to signal which particular neighbor is the actual target of the message. And this is the critical role of the upstream neighbor field. Strictly speaking, there's no such thing as a PIM join. Its real name is join prune, although most people call it join if the packet has something in it join list and its prune list is empty.